just talk more about the impact on the students and their families and what we're looking at moving forward for them since they're not in school right now? Right. Well, one of the big things is, is you know, Sunday night after the uh, all of the rain, some of our schools had water for a few minutes. Uh, but we decided that it would be difficult to let some families send some of their children to school and some have to stay at home. And so we made the decision just to call off school. Well, then in the meantime, we're down to only one of our schools in the county would have access to water to be able to uh, flush, to be able to have wash hands, cook, those kind of things. And so I am depending upon these gentlemen behind us to tell us our next move right now. Our number one concern is making sure our kids have what they need, our families have what they need, whether it be water, food. I know we were handing out diapers yesterday to families, and so, you know, that's the biggest concern. And that, uh, you know, this is a rural community. There are some communities that are harder hit than others, and just to make sure that we reach out to them and provide them what they need. And hopefully we'll be back in school maybe by the first of the week. I, don't, I honestly don't know, so uh, I, I'll just wait on them to advise us on that.